Hello, I'm going to take you on a journey from Charing Cross to the Houses of Parliament, a distance of about three kilometres in just about five minutes. We start at Charing Cross Station and we head across the Strand with Charing Cross on our left and take the first turning on our right down Adelaide Street. This will show us St Martin's in the Field Church. When this was built, it was in the countryside, hence its name. At the end, we will reach Charing Cross Road with the National Portrait Gallery in front of us. And as we turn round into Trafalgar Square, we will see the National Gallery, which has the nation's paintings. As we swing round into Trafalgar Square, we will see Nelson's Column, which was there to commemorate the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. As we come across the road, we will reach King Charles I Island, which is the modern day centre of London, and we have Whitehall to the left, but as we go to the right, we will come to Admiralty Arch. This was built in 1912 to commemorate Queen Victoria's 60 year reign on the throne. We're now on the Mall. This takes us all the way up to Buckingham Palace, but we will be ending this part of the route at the Duke of York's column. The second part of the route ends up on Whitehall. We start in Horse Guards Parade and we see the Police Memorial on our left and St James's Park on the right. This is the oldest of the Royal Parks and in Henry VIII's time it was a deer sanctuary. As we go past the Guards Memorial on our right hand side for those who died in the First World War, we end up on to Horse Guards Parade itself which has been a place for ceremonies since the 17th century. It is used for the trooping of the colour and the daily changing of the Queen's lifeguards. As we go through the entrance to Horse Guards, we end up on Whitehall and the first building that we see is Banqueting House, which is the only survivor of Whitehall Palace that stood here until 1698 when it burnt down. Today the area is full of government buildings. The first one that we see on our left is the Ministry of Defence. And then, on our right-hand side, the entrance to Downing Street and the Foreign Office. The Cenotaph in the middle of Whitehall is the focus for our National Service of Remembrance in November. We cross the road and we turn down into King Charles Street, which is in between the Foreign Office and the Treasury. And this is the end of the second part of our route. The final part of the route ends up at the Houses of Parliament. At the end of King Charles Street, we pass the Barley Bombing Memorial and Churchill's War Rooms, and we're on Horse Guards Road with St James's Park on our right. This area used to be the Old Avery in 1600s. At the end of this road, we get to Central Westminster Hall, which was built in 1911 on the site of the Old Royal Aquarium. Westminster Abbey comes into view on our left. The building we see in front of us began to be built in 1245. We cross over Broad Sanctuary and then through the gap into Dean's Yard, which is an ecclesiastical area and dates back to when this was the deanery. At the bottom we have Church House and then swinging back on ourselves we have Westminster School on our right and Westminster Abbey Choir School on our left. Coming back out towards Westminster Abbey itself, on our right hand side, we see the Queen Elizabeth Conference Centre ahead of us. Then we can turn down the side of Westminster Abbey and we see Margaret's Church in front of us. This is the parish church of the House of Commons. We exit onto Parliament Square and have the Supreme Court in front of us. We pass statues of Lincoln, Mandela and Gandhi before swinging round onto Parliament Square itself with a full view of the Houses of Parliament in front of us and Big Ben. We turn left past Churchill statue and end up at Westminster Station which is the end of the tour. This quick tour should give you a good overview of what the route looks like and will help you enjoy the route when you do it at your own pace using the additional information that you can find in this digital book. Thank you.